let me show you one more interesting math magic trick and uh, this trick was uh, was I, I learned this trick from um, Mr. Arthur Benjamin and I don't know where he got this trick from I think and it was voted the best trick of America and I've oriented this district to fit Indian numbers um, it's it's a trick doing with uh, something to do with phone numbers. Uh, so if you if you if you aren't you aren't living in India and if you have an eight digit number, nine digit number, what have you, uh, you can add a zero or two zeros to make your digits uh, make your phone number of ten digits. You can add your zeros anywhere. And I would like you to to get a calculator out before I start with this trick. Get a calculator. So get a calculator. I guess my spelling is wrong. Calculator and get a and get um, a paper and that's about it. Now I want you to write your number. Uh, I want you to write your number on on the paper. It should be ten digits, as I told you. Uh, let me write an arbitrary number: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, actually, let me change my brush setting. Alright, there I am uh, after I've changed the brush settings because that was getting a too thin. Now this seems good. Right then. Let me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is a 10 digit number. And also let me remove my calculator out. Let me show you the trick first. So I'll write down the steps at the first. Uh, Alright. Now I want you to take 5 digits of your number. Take the first five digits so the f so type in these first five digits in your calculator so these could be one two three four five these digits right here one two three four five yes so the digits you need to cal type on your calculator is zero zero one two three if this was your phone number right then multiply by fifty then you need to multiply this by 50 so I write down the step multiply by 50 and again I don't know your phone number my thing is to recognize your phone number in fact that's my challenge so once you have multiplied by 50 uh, the next thing you need to do is multiply by 25 so I'll write times 25 good enough once you have multiplied by 25 you have multiplied by 25, you multiply by 16. Multiply by 16. After you have multiplied by 16, you multiply by 10. And this involves multiplication a lot, so that's why I'm, I'm asking you to, to take out your calculator. Now that whatever you have as your answer, you have multiplied this by 25, you have multiplied this by 6, and you have multiplied this by 10, and whatever you have the answer, Add the last five digits to it. Add this to it. Add four, five, six, seven, eight in my case. I don't know what your number is, so you can add whatever you want. Once you have finished adding, I'll write here add last five digits. And once you have finished adding, I want you to add it again. So whatever you have, add. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 again. Once more. Right? Add again. And the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is I don't know, I have space here. I'll ask you to divide by. I hope you can see it and even if you can't um, you, you can hear me certainly so divide whatever you have whatever you have by 2 this is a question mark right here and what do you see on your calculator you should see your phone number let me let me let me demonstrate it so my number was let me see yes let, my number was 00, zero. I don't think I can type a double zero right here so I'll type, uh, let's see what I can type. I, I'll type 1 through 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Alright, this isn't any real phone number. I'm just making it up. Don't call into this number, please. I don't know whose number is this. Alright, you take. So uh, 
this was my this is my number I'll take the first five digits so what are the first five digits one two three four five then I'll multiply it by 50 then I'll multiply it by 25 then I'll multiply it by 16 then I'll multiply it by 10 and now I will now I will add the last five digits which is what are the last five digits one two three four five so it's six seven eight nine and zero add six seven eight nine zero and the last step is divide by two and I should see one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and here it is so what is the math behind it let us try and find out let us try to find out I, I will need the calculator here alright the first step is I have the steps written with me in a book so I won't be referring it I hope you have written it down or you just have memorized it so my first step is to take the first five digits so let the first five digits be X and the last five digits be Y right then multiply the first five digits by 50 so it will become 50x multiply by 25 so it will become uh, f uh, what is this 25 times 5 25 125 1 2 5 0 x then I ask you to multiply it by 16 I will have to do 1 2 5 0 times 16 1 2 5 0 times 16 that's 20,000 so 20,000 X and multiply by 10 so it will become 200,000 X right now I ask you to add the last five digits and let me switch colors so I ask you to add the last five digits and again add them so it will become something like this so my number is 200,000 X plus 2Y right now what I ask you to do is divide by 2 so I get 1 2 X plus Y and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this one uh, let me see whether this is working out to be good enough right then let me explain to you what these things actually mean actually I got confused and I had paused the video and I, I just I just rechecked it and it all worked perfectly so I, I I just got confused so what do you have what is X right here what is X in in, in here let me switch colors what is X here X is the first five digits X is the first five digits and I have multiplied it by a hundred thousand and a hundred thousand has one two three four and five zeros right hundred thousand has five zeros and if I multiply uh, some uh, some any five digits some five digits by hundred thousand I get uh, these five digits and I get one two three four five zeros so I have five more slots remaining then and 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 I have, I add y which are the last five digits so I add the last five these were the first five and I should get the last five first five plus the last five and this should be my answer first five but I, I I'm sorry if I've I'm confusing you but essentially this means that there is an x right here we have five zeros in front of it so I have your first five digits in front of me is this five right no. okay uh, please don't get confused Le re let's rethink about it uh, th I have the I have the first five digits and I have five zeros in front of it so these are the first five digits and I have five more slots remaining I add the y right, y right here so why are the last five digits so I add y so what should I get I should get x plus y x plus y but with these five zeros I hope I, I, I just want to explain you 1 2 3 4 5 and I have five zeros 1 2 3 4 5 then I add the last five digits which is 6 7 8 9 0 and I should get the answer 1 2 3 4 5 
six seven eight nine zero and essentially this statement is saying this is saying this and hopefully uh, you are getting the trick and the algebra behind it if you got confused please let me know I'll I would be more than happy to make another video for the, uh, the algebraic exp uh, explanation behind this trick thank you so much for joining me